Good morning. We're so happy you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. I'm now home from the doctors. They looked at me and gave me a little bit more of a timeline, and now I just gotta get to work before I pick up Peter from work, who actually gets out early today because of the holiday. Okay, so I just picked up Peter from work, and I just wanted to give you a quick update on what the fertility team said today. So basically, I am getting close to being able to take the trigger shot, which will start the process of ovulation. Um, and once I do that, I'm done with medication. Two days after that, I will have an egg retrieval. That's where I actually go under. Um, and then five days after that will be the embryo transfer and then the two week wait. So that's basically just on our radar. We are gonna continue to go every day. And then once they say, hey, it's time for the trigger shot, then things will really start going. Yeah, I'll. Um, All right, Sarah's on a conference call it, with a client. Sure like, 4 30. I'm gonna go run on the treadmill because there's a heat index of about 107 today. Can't run outside, so I hate treadmills. But it's a big running day. I took off last night and I shifted my off day to Friday. But gotta get it done. Just go out, even if I go out for 10 minutes. I'm gonna go out for an hour. If it ends up being five minutes. I'm glad I went out for five minutes rather than. All right. I actually didn't hate it. It was like, I gotta find a thermostat. I think it's like seven, five degrees in here. There's the little uh, fans on these things. Wasn't too bad. Nice six miles in at about a 9.57, 9.58 pace. And here we go, getting everything ready for the, the diary box set for uh, the next set of shots for tonight. I had a stellar run, as you saw. Um, I feel really good. I haven't like, set and followed like a slower pace for me in a long time and I knew that since I was doing three tomorrow the catch up three on Friday and I got a big run on Sunday I'm supposed to run 13 miles on Sunday I knew I was gonna just like okay Peter just listen to the schedule just run the six at a slower than usual speed like pace just to like get the miles in and I did and I feel good because I'm barely tired took a shower I shaved because I forgot to shave the past two mornings and uh, even though I grow facial hair like a snail at a snail's pace. I still feel fresh when I shave, so feel good. I'm gonna get ready, uh, do the shots. They're still working and it's 6.45 at night, so they're still working. And then we'll head out over to Magic Kingdom, I think, to go check out special 4th of July fireworks. We got an hour and 15, or maybe like an hour and 20 until the fireworks start. Look at yeah. the Wild West out here. There's a really bad lightning storm coming through. Like, surrounded by lightning. And I never realized it, but I think the parking attendants, which makes complete sense, go away, which means, like, during this busy time, they're all, like, gone, and all the parking is just, like, going wild. Our park is open until midnight tonight, and if you are staying at a resort, we have after magic hours until 2 a.m. Our trams will be running until 3 in the morning. you hear that? It is lightning like crazy and there's some rain coming in. At that point where like the temperature's dropping and you're like... I want to say an uh -oh. hour ago it was like 100 degrees and now it's like 85 and I'm sure it'll be 80 by the time we get to the Magic Kingdom. But our goal is to get to Main Street and just stand there and wait for the fireworks. Yes. And you got one best best? I got two. I got Pirates at 9 and Dumbo at 10. Ooh, classics for a classic holiday. Okay, so Peter and I were talking if it was 360 fireworks or perimeter, and this makes me think that it's 360. The difference between those two, if you don't know, is 360 is when they're literally shot off from behind you to the sides of you, in front of you, and that means that they're shot off from the middle of Seven Seas Lagoon. Perimeter just means to the sides and in front of you like for the Christmas and the Halloween party. So this is this is going to be like New Year's if it's if it really is gonna be 360. They are 
prepared for these lines to come tonight. Wow. This is wild. <laughs> it's kind of intimidating to. How can that be true? We got our swags. Oh, red, white, and blue swags. And you gotta go that way. Okay. <laughs> it is busy, busy, busy. And I like, love it. It's not like packed. But I love it, love it, love it. They got the bypass open. We have a bag to protect the bug's camera when it inevitably starts pouring. And we're just gonna go camp out. Oh my gosh, I gotta take a picture right here. I mean, this is sections of Main Street already all taped off for the fireworks. We're gonna go all the way up there. Deeper and deeper into the crowds we go. We can stay right here in the next 30 minutes. Great control will come through and make everybody stand up from sitting over there. And we'll all shift probably like 40 or 50 feet forward, which if I do my math, will get us right by within 20 feet of Walt and Mickey, which will make me always so happy. Right? So they keep telling us it's delayed, but the, we just heard the DJ come back out of Tomorrowland, which is a good sign. So hopefully it starts soon. It's not bad. We've been in way worse. Yeah, we've been in way worse. Yeah, but we've had good room. Like, we've got room. And the people around us? Top notch people. As you know, those of you that have been to Florida at least once, well, weather around here does what it wants to do. Mother Nature has a mind of her own, and of course, out here, we make sure to do everything we can to keep you as safe as possible. Now, we do see that the weather is leaving the area, which we're excited about. You guys excited about that as well? that we get these fireworks off and present the most amazing fireworks presentation you've ever seen right here tonight as we celebrate the 4th of July. Continues. Yeah. Look at how busy Main Street is. It is like 
like a straight up club here in Magic Kingdom, USA. Main Street, USA. I got flossing. I got Orange Justice, Orange Julius. We got it all. Look at how beautiful. I need to eat like this. Photo. Yeah. Hold on. One day he will come here. When I'm a little old man, should be my silver stuff. <laughs> we need to come here during the day in a weekend soon. Saturday. We are in the exact zigzag that we talked about earlier. And I'm, I couldn't be happy. We're going to the ferry. I love a good zigzag and parade and crowd control in Disney World. Yeah. All right, we're back at the TTC. It was not bad at all. No. Walked right onto a ferry, waited like four minutes. The gate, the whole like zigzag thing like made you think that it was gonna be a long way, but it really wasn't. Yeah, I just wanted to point out the fireworks line were some of my favorite ever. It's because it reminded you of wishes. It reminded me of wishes because they were projections, but by projections, I mean they were literally just lights and shapes. And then they had perimeters almost the whole time. I don't know if other people realize that. It like, but it was just on the two sides outside of the park of the castle. So it looked like literally a giant, like, you know, like when you look at the castle, you have a big, amazing fireworks, but that's directly behind the castle. They had them just to the left and just to the right. And then at the end, they had them going everywhere. But during the show, it was like just so extra, like Sarah said, like so extra full. Yeah, like luxurious. Spacious. Luxurious and spacious. I loved it. I'd um, go see those. I know Macaulay Culkin is in Disney World right now. How convenient. Wait, that's because it's Christmas right now. It's so good to see you. We are home and the message is throw your dreams into space like a kite and you do not know what it will bring back. A new life, a new friend, a new love, a new country. How do I say that name? Anegas Nin? I think so. We gotta get up early. Like in five and a half hours, <laughs> kind of early. Peter's got his 5K. I'm not going to be running. I'm also not going to be going on thrill rides. I don't need any jostling in my abdomen. Um, and then we got an appointment at 9 a.m. So we'll do... We have a super busy morning. Mm -hmm. Then we'll probably have a super busy evening. Mm -hmm. And relaxed in the middle. Yes. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Happy 4th of July if you're watching this the date uploads. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.